old. Well, I have other things to do this week. You don't make the rules around here. It's fine, I'll do it. Stop that. Hello, everybody. So as you know, I'm redrawing my channel art because it's super old in the channel art I used to have. I still had like blue green hair. Haven't had that for quite some time. And my art is pretty different. So I decided to just change it, update it, make it more professional and nice and that kind of stuff. So um, I'm in finals right now, so this video isn't as edited or maybe complete as some of my other videos, but I just wanted to upload something so you guys know that I'm not dead and I am still trying to be active. <laughs> College has just been kind of crazy recently, but I wanted to put something up. I'm almost on break though. So you'll be getting a lot more content very soon, I hope. So I didn't want to just talk about the art in this video because there's not really a whole lot to talk about. It's my normal art style. It's pretty minimal. I just wanted to pump out something that would be cute to update it so that people aren't all confused whenever they come look at my channel page. So instead, I am just going to be rambling on about random stuff that I like right now, you know, what's kind of inspiring me at the moment and keeping me going. If this isn't for you, just skip this video and watch the next one if you like my like more high energy stuff, um, but this is what I can handle right now. So the first thing that I've been very into recently is Survivor. Uh, this show has kind of been my guilty pleasure since I started watching it, like, a couple, like, a month ago, I don't know. Um, I probably saw it as a kid, but I didn't remember how entertaining it was and probably didn't understand. It's like all of the tea and drama that you would get in The Bachelor, but actually entertaining. Like, no shade on The Bachelor, but also, yes, shade. I'm sorry, it's just not my thing, but I do love the drama, the artificial drama that comes up from a bunch of just idiots being on an island and then some of them are smart and like pretty good at the game it's just really entertaining i love the challenges and most of it is on amazon prime so guys if you want to watch something that's like hot garbage but like really good hot garbage go watch some survivor it's great it'll get you through your finals if you're in finals right now just do it um next i binge watched the mandalorian last week because um, like I noticed that Ahsoka was finally getting a live action appearance and I am very 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 obsessed with Ahsoka. I'm sorry if there's no like Star Wars people out here who actually care but I have been a Clone Wars fan since the very first movie and I love Ahsoka so much so I binged it. I think Rosario Dawson did a really good job. I think that she really carried an older Ahsoka very well. I know the fandom is maybe a little divided about it, but you know what? I think that it went as about as well as it could, because live action from animation is not always an easy thing to do, and this definitely was not an easy thing. So related to that, if you guys are sort of more of a casual Star Wars fan and you don't even know what I'm talking about, or even you don't care about Star Wars and you just want a new show, go watch The Clone Wars. Some of it is very, very boring and like just straight up bad. It's like hot garbage. But most of it, the vast majority of it, is done very, very, very well. And even though it's maybe considered a, a children's show because it aired on Cartoon Network, it is anything but, you know? I mean, most animated stuff isn't really a children's show. They just call it that because, you know, standards are weird. Um, but it's fantastic. Uh, like, even just watch it for the end of season 7 because it kind of recontextualizes Order 66 and a lot of the stuff that happens in um, The Revenge of the Sith and it gives Anakin better motivations like a lot of people think it redeems the prequels so just go watch it it's wonderful and yeah so moving along the other thing that's an audio podcast that I've been listening to I listen to it in video form though is the Jenna Julian podcast. 
Um, most of you maybe have seen me and my obsession with Jenna Marbles on the channel. I don't know. A lot of people compare me to Jenna Marbles and like, yeah, I watch Jenna Marbles all the time. So that's why. Uh, but their podcast is awesome. It's ended now, of course, because Jenna isn't really creating anymore. But Julian still is. And this is like a good way to like appreciate the era of when they both made content. I don't know. It's just fun because they have so many interesting discussions that are somewhat serious, but there's also just like some utter nonsense going on and it's so funny. If you're doing something else, it's really fun to have on in the background. I usually stick it on while I'm studying and it makes the time pass easier and it makes studying a lot more bearable. So go check it out. It's really, really enjoyable and I highly recommend it. Um, another sort of YouTube thing I recommend is Brittany Broski's content. She's kombucha girl for anyone who's more familiar with TikTok, uh, and she makes sort of those Jenna Marbles-esque videos where it's just chaotic but calming at the same time, and it's very, you know, domestic, 32-year-old lady kind of stuff. Um, so if you miss Jenna's content, which I definitely do, Go watch Britney's, and she does a lot of videos with her roommate too, which are just really, really funny. They're a total mess, and it's just great for when you're exhausted and stressed out, and you just need something that's completely dumb to fill your time. Okay, so this is pretty different from anything else that I've recommended, but at the beginning of quarantine, I got into horror YouTube channels, because I was just feeling spooky one day for some reason. So. Recently, I've been watching a lot of Lazy Masquerade, Lady White Rabbit, Fascinating Horror, and Mr. Nightmare, and I highly recommend all of them. They do a wonderful job at the narration and the storytelling, and they don't have any like jump scares on the screen. They don't have really any audio jump scares, so it's something that you can kind of enjoy, like a good mystery or a good spooky story without like getting stressed out at the same time. It's actually pretty relaxing, which maybe sounds strange, but it's true. I especially like Lazy Masquerade. He's probably my favorite of the four that I mentioned, but it's great. It's just like unsolved mysteries and just weird things. Uh, a lot of quote true stories from places like Reddit and 4chan, but it's really spooky. It's a good mystery. I definitely really enjoy it and I recommend it. So the last thing is the music that I've been listening to recently. And the music that I've been listening to is like kind of weird, but it is The Talking Heads, Remain in Light, and Haley Williams' album, Petals for Armor. Now I've listened to both of these so many times, but I really recommend them. They're interesting and a little different. Um, the Talking Heads, they're back from, like, the 80s, and Pedals for Armor actually came out earlier this year. So, um, just two albums I can recommend if you want something new. And please, if you have any recommendations for me in the comments, please leave them, because I need new music. I'm running out really quickly. I like new wave, pop punk, and, like, dance rock, pop rock, anything like that. So, give me your recommendations because I'm running out, and any other recommendations for, like, content I'd also love, because I just put on stuff while I work. Since it's art, I can just do that, and I burn through stuff pretty quickly, so. Quickly, while I'm closing out the video and the art is kind of finishing up, I just wanted to mention to you guys that I'm also looking for suggestions for videos going into 2021, especially for kind of tutorial content. I want to know what you guys want to learn from me, I know I do a lot of sketchbook focused stuff, but I also want to do some other stuff that's sort of more related to art in a broader sense, not just specific to sketchbooks or digital or traditional, you know, I want something that can be valuable for everyone who's watching. So if you have any of those suggestions, bleh, if you have any of those suggestions, please leave them down below. I am still going to try my best to make that color theory series that I've been teasing for a while. I just haven't had the time to sit down and do it because uh, I wrote out a script for it and it's going to take me a little bit of time to make. It's going to, you know, be some effort and some hours to actually do it. Maybe I'll get started on those during my break. I hope so. But 
um, just let me know what you guys want to see. And I'm also interested in starting up some video series related to art. Maybe if you have an idea for a series of videos, I would also love to hear those. I really want to make some fun stuff uh, coming into this next year and a lot of different kinds of content because I tend to do, I tend to get bored whenever I'm just making the very stereotypical kinds of art videos, you know, that you see all of the artist channels do. And I think a lot of people have seen a lot of these sort of ideas before, so I want to sort of think outside the box and come up with some interesting stuff that sort of pairs some of my other interests with art as well, because I like a lot of weird stuff, and I already have a lot of weird ideas for some videos that I could make that are sort of out of the box, and maybe it would be really fun, and maybe you guys would like. So, please let me know. If there's an existing video that you would like me to make a part two of, let me know that as well, because I would gladly make a part two as soon as I have time. And if you have some ideas for some videos that like would maybe be a shorter format, let me know that as well. Because um, I have plenty of my own ideas, but I also want to see what you guys actually want to watch and what you find valuable in the way of tutorial content. So let me know. I have a lot of interesting things planned and I'm going to see how much of what I have planned lines up with what you guys actually want to see. And hopefully I can get on more of a regular schedule next year. I have some sponsorships coming. I'm very excited. Hopefully I'll have some more time to do this next year. So let me know. Start some discussions. I'd love to hear from you guys. And that being said, we're coming to the end of the illustration. That is it for all of the like content recommendations. And that is also it for the art. I hope you like how the channel art came out. I'm just going to stick it here while I casually plug my merch. So for anyone who is interested, I do have some merch coming out pretty soon here. Some of it will be apparel like tees and hoodies and other stuff will be like prints and stickers. I'm not sure what all I'll offer, but um, it's not going to really be traditional merch. Uh, people just wanted me to put my cat on some hoodies and stuff. Uh, thank you so much for boosting her ego even more. She definitely did not need that. But I'll have some stuff like that up pretty soon here. I'm just working on sort of getting a complete collection to come out at once. Hopefully it will be in time for Christmas. And I'll also try to put some kind of a discount on it. I still don't know how all of that will work because I'm going to use like print-on-demand services. So it's not me setting the price point completely. I set my profit margin, but I have to figure that out. But... For anyone who's interested in that, I'm going to have like a lot of stuff come out that's going to be new, and then some of it is going to be old stuff that people requested that I stick on some merch. Um, so keep a lookout for that. I'll probably have a formal announcement in my next video, and I'll have it available for sale, hopefully, so that people can get it in time for Christmas. I can't guarantee anything just because I had finals, and I couldn't really make complete merch. But you know how it is. My friends who are in college or any other academic place. Um, but yeah, so hope you guys liked the banner. Um, if you want to take a look at it, it's up on my YouTube channel now. It's been updated. Uh, and if you go to my YouTube channel, you might notice there's a big red button, like right below it. It's the subscribe button. You can push that. And the little bell thing, if you really want to, it helps out the channel and you'll know whenever I post the one time a year that I do. No, I'm just kidding. It's like, it's like four times a year. Anyways, thank you guys so much for the support. I'll be back with maybe some more complete content in a couple weeks here, so keep a lookout. Uh, okay, yeah, thanks. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.